Let's move on to the second question today. And the second question today comes to us from Christopher Gristle, who writes, you guys spend a lot of time reminding us that all film is subjective and that just because someone else hates a film does not affect your own enjoyment of that film. Very true. Most important rule of film watching, actually. I recently saw a video that emphasizes that point where a popular internet critic, Doug Walker, uh, listed his top 10 films he hates but everyone else likes and his top 10 films that he likes but everyone else hates. In the spirit of all film is subjective, I'd like you guys to list your top three films uh, you like but everyone else hates and vice versa. For me, the films I hate are Spirited Away, District 9, and Inception. And the three films I like but everyone else hates, Superman Returns, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and Disney's Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Thanks, and keep up the great work. Schnepp, let's start with you. I don't know if you're going to have three or two or one or whatever, but how many, what are some films that you really like? That everyone else hates, more some films you hate that everyone else likes. Well, I had to write them down on my iPhone. <laughs> <coughs> films I hate that others love. I hated Tideland, Terry Gilliam's Tideland. I found it to be uh, uh, soulless and uh, soul crushing. And some <laughs> other people were like, I love Jeff Bridges in it. I was like, nope. Uh, <laughs> Independence Day is another film that. Wow, really? I'm, Independence uh, Day? I'm going to just hate on. All uh, right. Especially because of ID Forever or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then a paranormal activity. Uh, I could not stand that movie. In fact, I was one of those people in the audience at the very end after hearing people scream and cry. I yelled, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I got ripped off. Uh, films that I can't say anything about Twilight. I was going to put that on, but I haven't seen it, so right. I'm not going to hate on it. I'm just not going to watch it uh, ever. <laughs> um, films I love that others hate. Only God Forgives. Uh, I loved that movie so much, and it got a lot of uh, bad press, and a lot of people said that it was not a good film. I think they're crazy uh dune david lynch's dune is one of my all-time favorite science fiction films i love that film I i'm like just saying film. but a lot of people yeah. hate that film oh, okay. um and then i'll say soldier with kurt russell That's, i think a lot of people it, like that film no people, really people hate that movie whenever i listen up the chain they don't even get my com i'm making a comic reference and i like that movie. and i'll just throw in kick ass too because i loved kick ass too i think it had the same i liked it a lot it too. had the same spirit as the first kick ass which also a lot of people hated when it first came out then they saw it on DVD and started loving on it. So I think Kick-Ass 2 will find its audience again in DVD. And it made a lot of money. So I want to see Kick-Ass 3. So. Aaron, what about you? First of all, I don't think people hate Kick-Ass 2. I think they just are comparing it to the first. There are a lot of people first. who did, but there are a lot of people who liked it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so my films I love that everyone hates. First one... Cloud Atlas. It makes me so mad that people hate that movie. I thought it was awesome. I hate that movie. Yep. I, hate, I hate that movie. There you well. go. <laughs> that's, the, that's the spirit of this segment. That is the spirit of this segment. It was honestly one of my favorite things I saw last but, uh, year. Yeah, it, I, I couldn't put it on because I liked two of the five segments. I thought two of them were amazing. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. All of it. Yeah, there was like one segment that I didn't like that much, but the rest of them I thought were amazing. Um, Mortal Kombat, I mean, I it's my favorite video game. It's my favorite video game movie, and I know that video game movies have a history of being bad, but, you know, this one just like pulls on my heartstrings a little bit. I just love it. Um, and my third one, Shallow Hal. It's my favorite Fairly Brothers comedy. I think it's hilarious. It gets me every single time, and Gwen Paltrow really has the fat um, girl thing down in that movie. She's just... I think she's amazing. Because you would know amazing. all about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Her just physical embodiment, I thought was great. Um, but okay, so let's change gears. Films that I hate that everyone loves. Um, well, these three are all in the whole same kind of existential figuring your life out genre, it, which is so annoying to me. But Juno, Young Adult, and Garden State. So overrated. Totally. Didn't I love Juno. Two of those were... Um, <sighs> Um. Uh. Uh. What, what's his name? The junior Zach Braff. No, uh, the director. Reitman. Uh, Jason Reitman. Yeah. Those are the Jason Reitman films. Yeah. I love Jason Reitman films. I think I, I, I'm more of a Harry problem Potter. with the writing. More. Uh, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Yes. Right. Um. Overrated. I can't connect with it. But I'm not going to say it's a bad film because I haven't seen all of the Harry Potters. Oh, okay. It's Fair just enough. One or two. Uh, me, I, I did not put together a list, but I will tell you a couple that, that come off uh, the films that everybody loves that I hate. Um, I always have to start this one off with Blade Runner. Uh, Blade Runner He's is crazy. <laughs> wait, wait, are you saying you don't like movies? it? I, I, that's a film I do not like um, <clears throat> what? Uh, at all. And you know what? <gasps> it, it's just, but I, you know, I always have to acknowledge. Look, it is a, it is a beloved film that everybody loves, and smarter people than me love it. And you know, but I can't lie to you. It just, 
I watched it and I thought it was terrible. Hey, but man, we could still be friends. We could still be friends even though you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, and so, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, let, let's switch gears over to one that I love that everybody seems to hate. Uh, I always got to stand up for my film Armageddon. Uh, I dig Armageddon. I I watch that film. Don't want to close my eyes. Anyway, so I, I can watch that film a thousand times and love it every single time. It, when Ben Affleck starts singing, <laughs> leaving on a jet plane, <laughs> almost tears, my friends. Almost tears. Um, what's another one that I mean, one of the films that is I, just a treasure to my heart um, is uh, Vanilla Ice is Cool as Ice. Oh, my um, gosh. Near and dear to my heart. One of the most unintentionally hilarious films in the history of Hollywood. We were talking about that. Like I mentioned, I just saw this movie, and that's it was right. a spur-of-the-moment thing, and I can't believe I watched all of it and actually loved it. I said, Cool as Ice. He was like, that's one of my favorite movies. I was like, <laughs> so we talked about Cool as Ice for like an hour. <laughs> it's like, because no one else true. has seen it, you know, and you're like, this is the, the one of the stupidest but awesomest <laughs> movies ever made that no one has ever seen. It's so bad, I it's good. I have not seen yeah. it. Vanilla yep. Ice. Yep. Cool yep. as ice. She likes Oh me. my God, it's that, so good. It's so good, and it's yeah. Vanilla Ice at his very, <sighs> very best. Um, and I, don't, I don't know, I can't really think, but those those are the two, in every of these conversations always come up. I gotta remind people, it's like somebody says, you know, I like this movie, but everybody hates it. I say, hey dude, listen, I hated Blade Runner. Think about how popular I am at parties. <laughs> oh <laughs> I mean, my God. What was the other Moon Rock movie? There was Armageddon, and then remember they always had like two movies of the oh, same. Oh, the, the one uh, where the, uh, the the dude from The Godfather was the pilot. Um, what was that one called? And, and uh, 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 I'm going to say, well, not William Morris. Um, the dude is the president of the United States. Morgan Freeman is president of the United States. Right? Morgan Freeman? Uh, sudden Impact, Deep Impact. Deep Impact. Deep yeah. Impact. Deep Impact is the name of that. Right. Yeah, it roughly right. came out at the same time. Right. Yeah. Um, that, that was a movie that had its um, upside. That was a movie that had its its good parts about it. Yeah, it had its moments. Um, actually, I remember the end of Deep, going off on a wild tangent here, but I remember the end of Deep Impact, right near the end, um, Teo Leone goes, it, like she doesn't take the helicopter to safety. Yeah. She goes and finds her father instead and decides to die with her dad on the beach. Yeah, it's a touching moment. Yeah. You just die, giant tidal wave. Spoilers! <laughs> but giant tidal wave is going to die dead. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was a really nice moment, actually. I thought, yeah. that was a, I thought that was a pretty cool moment. So, anyway, yes, all the bottom yeah. line here, if all film is subjective, you're going to love some things that other people hate. You're going to hate some things other people love. The only question is whether you're honest about it or just try to look cool by denying it. And uh, I am not afraid to admit I didn't like Blade Runner. As crazy as that makes me. And that breaks my heart a little bit. I know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.